All right, well, we are gonna go on another little nature adventure this morning. This is, what, this is a Wednesday. <laughs> July, July 24th, I think, today is, so. Anyway, it's a beautiful day. A cold front came through yesterday. I went hiking two days ago, and it was just hot and muggy, kind of really soupy, but a day is kind of, there's a Christmas to the, a crispness to the air because that cold front came through. So it feels really good. Actually, there's a there's a channel I watch from they're down in Georgia, Sidestep Adventures. Um, actually, a pretty cool channel you might like. But um, they just post he just posted a video recently, and I guess that cold front came all the way down to Georgia because he was saying the same thing how it was much cooler outside and everything. So um, I'm here in Middle Creek here in Lebanon County, PA, and uh, there's a trail here. I think it's called the Middle Creek Trail. I guess it follows a little creek. I think last time I was here, I brought my uh, botany class here last fall, but anyway, I'm not going to be hiking terribly long today, but I'm even, even going to be taking my time. There's another one of those hikes where I'm just going to slow down and try and, you know, find things to film, nature and little critters and stuff, see what all I can find. Just kind of enjoy myself. So, I'm going to get packed up and we'll get ahead on trail, see what all we can find. There's, well, we'll be following a nice little creek and everything, so we'll get some neat shots of that and stuff, so anyway. I kind of wish you could be here and just feel the, it's a beautiful morning. But I don't want all of you here. <laughs> that would get kind of packed. Sorry, but anyway. Um, all right, let's get, let's get going. I found a bumblebee right along the trail here. He doesn't look like he's doing too good. Maybe it's just because it's a little chillier this morning. I don't know. He was moving a little bit earlier, so. But we'll let him go. We'll move on. Maybe he's just having a bad day. That's probably a she, actually. Down here is some cool looking fungus. It's called coral fungus. Because you see, it looks like, uh, you know, coral that you find in the ocean. It's one of my favorites, I think. Has that, this has a neat look to it. Yeah, that coral fungus was just over there, but let's. Let's tip over this log and see if we can see if there's anything under here. Eh, just some worms. No salamanders or anything. So we'll put it back. Yeah, you probably heard that dog bark at the end there. There were several people that had their dogs out here. And the dogs kind of met each other. One dog wasn't on a leash, so anyway. Well, look, check this out. This beautiful spot right here. And he's in a house over there. I think I'll move in. But that's the beautiful, beautiful sound and beautiful scene. So I'm just gonna keep walking up along the stream here. We are off trail. The trail's actually right up there. It's like an old road. You can see the foundation for it. So I'm just gonna follow, uh, go off trail for a little bit, just cause we'll see. Since several people have been passing through with their dogs. Dogs are okay, but they tend to chase the wildlife off. So we'll see. A lot nicer to walk along the stream anyway. snail right here just hanging out on this leaf that was a slug at first but there's a shell there
All right, so I just found a critter down in there, and we're gonna slowly zoom in on it, see how long it takes you to find it. It's camouflaged in there pretty good. This is all like a patch of poison ivy. So it is an insect. So I'll turn the camera back around and I'll we'll see how long for it, see how long it takes you to find it. So it's right, actually right in the center of the screen. Let's start zooming in. See it there? That is a Katie did. It's a younger one yet. But you, if you live out in the country, these are those critters that make that noise all night long. That loud, uh, kind of screechy noise it sounds like sometimes. Get a bit of a closer look at it. You can see they're extremely well camouflaged. You wouldn't be looking for it, you wouldn't see it. I will right, we'll let him go. And there's a little stink bug. It's not the kind that you find in your house, those grayish colored ones. This is a, a native stink bug. Here's just a little something interesting. You see how this leaf here is all curled up? It's like a ball. And this one's kind of curled up right there. Well, there are there are caterpillars living in there. And they uh, during the day, they make themselves a little shelter. They use some silk, kind of like spiders, and then they wrap the leaf up, and that's where they stay during the day. So if I would rip those open, we'd probably find uh, some sort of little caterpillar worm-like creature in there, but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna tear their homes open. So we'll just let them go. I always love these little plants like this. It's like a little forest of tiny some kind of tiny pine trees. But they this is called club moss. It's not actually moss, but there's different types of it. It's growing all around here. It just looks cool. And you should recognize these once again. Wine berries. Mmm. Good. A really ripe one down here. <clears throat> all right, there we go. One of my favorite little treats to find is not hiking, which you, if you watch my videos, you should know that pretty well by now. Kind of sweet and tart at the same time. And this is beautiful down here. I'm going to just sit here for a while. It's a really beautiful, peaceful spot, so I've been looking for a place to sit and eat lunch too, so I think this is the spot.
All right, well, I'm gonna leave my beautiful little spot here and uh, keep on going down the trail. Um, those uh, insects I just showed you with the black wings and the, like, the blue-green bodies, those are damselflies, ebony jewel wing damselflies. I think I showed you some of those when I was back at uh, the Allen Seeger natural area earlier this summer. A lot of people call them dragonflies, but they're a completely different family of insects called damselflies. But they are, they're pretty little things though. And those are the males. The females don't look quite as uh, attractive as the males. That's the way it is in insect world sometimes. There's a big old slimy slug slowly slowly making his way across the moss there. You can see him slowly moving. He's probably trying to get out of the sun. There is a tiger swallowtail. Just hanging out on some, uh, that's jewelweed that she's hanging out on. All right, found some more interesting fungus. Check that out. Orange, little orange fingers crawling up out of the ground. I think there's some smaller stuff over here, just starting to come up. I know the yellow variety is called, uh, they're called, often called fairy fingers, or golden fairy fingers. I know the orange variety is very similar though. I forget if it has its own special name or not, but they're pretty cool looking. Not sure what she is offhand. She's kind of facing the wrong way for me. I can't say that I recognize this one offhand. I'll look it up when I get home. Down there is a butterfly I do recognize. That is the red spotted purple admiral. My last nature fight, oh, my last hike, remember that one? I got that one confused with, uh, well, anyway. I kind of got it right, but that's what that is. That's the red spotted purple admiral. There, you get a good view. So you can see the red spots and the purple comes when, when she opens her wings you can see that purplish color on the inside all right that'll be it for this little hike jeep is still up there waiting for me so hope you enjoyed coming along on another little you know little nature adventure here it's all some cool little critters insects and stuff so like i said in the past before sometimes it's nice to just slow down and just look more at what's around you. So anyway, I gotta get home and get cleaned up. Got some plans for tonight, so thanks for watching. I'll see you around.